Lesson 1 1 The Cartesian Plane. The Cartesian plane separates a plane like a piece of paper into four quadrants. As you can see in the picture, going uh, counterclockwise. Any point is labeled XY. So we have the X axis horizontal, y-axis is vertical, it's just two number lines that are set perpendicular to each other and they cross at zero, zero. Then any point is how far we go in the x, followed by how far you move in the y. So that's graph three, two. So it's three in the x and two in the y. Or negative one in the x and up four in the y. Now that we can plot coordinates of points, we can use distance formula to find the distance between those points. The distance formula comes from the Pythagorean theorem. So as you can see in the graph here, we have our two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2. And we can draw a right triangle. The horizontal leg is the difference of the x's. Vertical leg is the difference of the y's. So if we use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is a, b, and c. We'd have that. And then to solve for d, we just square root. And that's the distance formula. You should memorize it. We can also find the middle between two points called the midpoint, which is just the average or the mean. So we're just going to take the two coordinates, add them together, and divide by the number of coordinates, which is two. So add them together and divide by two, which is another formula to memorize. Let's uh, use those formulas and find the distance between these two points. I'd call my first point x1, y1, and the second point x2, y2. Distance formula. And then fill it in. So fill in the x2, which is 2. x1 is negative 1 y2 is negative 5, y1 is 3. 2 minus a negative 1 minus a negative is plus, so it would be 3. And it's squared is 9. The negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. <coughs> and negative 8 squared is 64. 9 and 64 is 73. So cannot simplify that, so it's the square root of 73. The midpoint, we add for the midpoint formula. x1 plus x2, y1 plus y2. So negative 1 plus 2 is 1, so I have 1 over 2. And 3 plus a negative 5 is negative 2 over 2, which makes negative 1.